Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I'm pretty much in the same exact location that I left off at last time. Let's see, where's the fish? Oh, he's way over there. You may not be able to see him unless you make this screen bigger on your YouTube screen or whatever, but he's over there. Yeah, we pretty much want to see him. I believe this is the island I am looking for. This is the island I am looking for. Yes, I remember this island. There's a couple things we can do here. So, first things first is to get the fishy. Come here, fishy. Here you go. Have some bait. Yeah, it's very good to fill up this seed chart. Besides, I'm, I'm OCD and I like to have my, my chart filled out. Like, in Oracle Seasons and Ages, I like filling out my map entirely by going through every square. Although, if you play Oracle of Ages second, there's one square that you will not be able to go through. Alright, this is called Bomb Island. And Bomb Island has, well, bombs on it. On nights when the half of the moon's missing, why will it give me shivers? Uh, you're not gonna tell me, are you? So is the moon supposed to give me shivers? What, is Ganon gonna moon me or something? Oh god, no, that'd be horrible. Oh, don't put those thoughts in my head. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'd be a little concerned if that was the case. Can't take that back, I'd be very concerned. But let's go explore this island a little bit. Maybe I can get something that I think I can get. Yeah, let's climb up here. Uh, let's see here. There should be something to stop me. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was going to stop me, so. Yeah, watch out for those vines. Like, you really gotta watch out for them. Let's see, yeah. I think... Alright, there's this guy. I want to talk to him. Hey, how's it going? Ho, ho, ho! I'm a... I'm not Santa Claus, but... Well, what do you mean, such a container? What are you looking at? Uh, he's probably looking at the... the submarine over there that we'll be going to shortly. I don't think there's anything I can do on this island until much later. At least not to what I know. Yeah, it looks like there are any bombs to do something here. Because we can't blow up this rock. Well, not yet. So, okay. Well, we got to explore in the island. It's a little nifty. It's not. It's not a bad place to explore. And if it, if someone tells you it's bad, then they are wrong. Boring right now. Yes. But we can. Oh man, this is gonna make getting this submarine way harder. Okay, it's to the right. Oh come on, Rain. Can you give me a little break? I, I think I see it, but uh. Okay, thank you. No, don't rain. Ah, okay, there it is. Never mind, I keep raining. I, I found it. It's a little more to the right. A very nice little submarine we want to go into. And yes, I'm doing a little bit of side quests now. That way you don't have to do all of them later. Let's see. Okay, this one. Yeah, all we have to do is kill rats and goblins. Sounds fun, right? Because it is. Let's have a sword fight, amigo. Yeah, no. Yeah, get away from me. Oh, that was easy. Okay, you too, buddy. Ready? We're gonna fight. You know, it always makes you wonder why Miyamoto didn't give swords to his goblins in the original Zelda game. He only gave them arrows and stuff. Well, oh, there's a treasure chest. The one I want? Let's find out. Because if this is the one I want, then it's gonna contain empty bottles. So, okay, yeah, that's basically why we're here. We want two bottles. We got one from Medley and then one from this thing. Uh, I think we can get something more if we kill all the rats, but uh, uh the rats are very hard to kill. If you want to kill the rats, just wait for them to get come around and throw a sword at them. There we go. See, that's one. Otherwise, trying to get them is a very pain in the butt process. Usually they like attacking you from behind, so if you move your camera around, it's not going to work out so well. And they like to... Oh, steal your money! Yeah, not that it really matters. There you go. Okay, that's another. Come on, rats. Do your worst! Come here. Come here. Oh, you little bastard. Alright, alright. I can wait. I'll kill you like the rat has a Pokemon Yellow. No! Ugh, gotta catch him off guard. Being aggressive ain't getting me anywhere. Is that a rat? No. That's a stick. 
Come on, guys. Uh. Is he gonna move? Yeah, he's gonna move. Alright, there we go. Good, good. Gotta throw the sword. Is that all of them? No. No, no, you little. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay, I'll get him. I hope there's something worth it for getting these. If not, I'll just add this off screen, but. Come on! Come on out, Mr. Rat! I'll make you a rat out of pie! Out of your corpse! No, you little bastard. Yeah. I can't. No! Link, how could you miss? He's right. He's right there in front of you. Come on, seriously, dude. Get your head in the game. <sighs> Where are you? No! No, 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 no! Ugh. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. I think that was the last of the rats. I think. Otherwise, I just did that for nothing. Seriously, I did that for nothing? Ah, Forget it, viewers. Nothing here. I did some editing, because there's... I killed all the rats, I throw on the sword, and there's nothing, so... Yeah. I'm not going to make you sit through all that. That's a waste of time. Okay, just get the bottle and get out. Oh, come on. I could jump in the boat. Really, game? Let's see. Okay, I'll need to make this episode go a little bit longer than I planned on it. So, uh... Okay, 9.15? Oh, not too bad. All right. Here's another pirate, if you want to take these guys out. They have nothing I care for, so I'm just going to give them a pass. But yeah, you can go kill them if you want to. And there is a way we can destroy those cannons. Later, viewers. Which later? Recently? No, no, can't do anything there, so don't worry about it. But this is our destination. Really? It's daytime? Every time I come here, it's nighttime. It's just very odd it's daytime when I'm sailing to this, uh, these two islands here. Oh wait, where's my sea chart? Yeah, I need, okay. I need more bait. There we go. Okay, where are... Okay, he's usually on... Okay, yeah, he's on the left side. Oh, wait, no, the cutscene's gonna drag me in. Yeah, never mind. Okay, we'll just have to go get that fish in a second. I... A giant... What's that? Tree or something? Oh, Forest Haven! Like, Forest Heaven? I guess I'll have to find out. I do want that fish over there, though. I mean, not for dinner, but... Okay, maybe I do want it for dinner, but we're not eating him, viewers. We're not. I swear. Well, we can't. I wish. It's not Fable, but I would eat him. I so would, because I'm hungry right now, but no. Yeah, we'll have to wait. Oh, I don't want to get off the boat. I want to go get the fish. I guess I should be worried more about Ganon's hands, but okay. What he does with it, I don't know. Don't want to know, but yeah. We're going to go get that fish first, buddy. Not for dinner, but for our map. How come he doesn't eat these fish? I mean, he's always sailing the ocean. You'd think he'd eat some fish once in a while. But, eh, forget it. I know my, my commentary was bland for the Dragon River Asylum, but I was so tired when I was dealing with those episodes, but eh. I'm in a better mood today when I'm recording these. Yeah, yeah, you say the same three lines. Okay, what are you going to tell me after that, though? Okay, this is basically Forest Haven. Luckily, Ganon hasn't touched this island from the outside so far, is what we're looking at anyways. Just a wee bit north, there is a merchant of incredible girth and with a monstrous pack on his back. What? Uh, whoa. Oh. Okay, I, a merchant, huh? To the north. Okay. He said a little bit north. Yeah, I can't find evil on an empty stomach. Okay, Blake can, so... Okay, now we want to go back to... Uh, forget it, I was going to change the wind direction, because it, well, it's not a motorboat like in Phantom Hourglass. We can't just go up there and be like, okay, we're just, uh, sorry, choking on something. No comment on that. It's more like saliva. You know like when you drink a carbonated drink and then you get, to, you get little air bubbles in your throat or whatever you want to call it? That's what it is. No other comments. Okay. None of that anyways. You can send me a message, that'd be funny. Because I know exactly what you're going to say. <laughs> oh god, I ate my mind. Oh, yuck. No. No comments. Anyways. Uh, let's just continue onward. Huh. It's a nice forest island. It's a nice little change of scenery. I like it. 
I like the- Whoa! What are these things? These are Deku Babas. And you can actually use your grappling hook to steal items from them. Well, a treasure anyways. Which are these things? What are they called again? Boko Baba Seeds. Uh, why I just can't call them Deku Baba Seeds? I don't know, but... Uh, it's the planet's magic, so... Yeah, basically you can just steal them from him, start a little bit, and then cut them to pieces. And they're pretty easy to take care of, so... Yeah, I would take this! Because I love you, Deku Babas. Not really. I mean, I love killing them. Not my favorite enemies in the Zelda series, I'll... I'll say that. Do I have a favorite enemy in the Zelda series, viewers? Yes, I do! If you have one, too, I would very much like to hear it. Why do I always go more that way? I always gotta realign myself. Eh, there's another Octorok. Yeah, we'll, we'll get him, don't worry. Kill this guy first. There we go. Oh! Okay, good shot. Good shot, I'll give you that one. Yeah, sometimes they don't give you what you want. Okay, about right here. What?! Okay, right here. Hit him, hit him, hit him. There we go. Man, that went right above his head. You know, like my math knowledge. Okay, that was very funny, I know. I need to get better at math, but whatever. Heck, I used to be able to do calculus in high school, and then when I get to college, I'm stuck in intermediate, al intermediate algebra again. Yeah, that's fun. Who likes me in algebra? I don't. Unless you like math. Then. Well, that's cool. That means you'll have an easy time with it. Me? No. I, I suck at math, so. Yeah, it's kind of a burden on my part. But, eh, not so much algebra. Algebra isn't too bad. It's trigonometry I really hate. If you're a very young viewer, just type in trigonometry in Google if you don't know what it is. It's basically just a high-level math class. Like, yeah, it sucks. I'm just gonna say that now. So, unless you like math, don't go for it. If you want the math credit or a challenge, then hey, go for it. Oh, that's an interesting looking tree. It has a face and everything. Whoa! Shoe jelly. Uh, what are they? Like parasites eating the tree or something? Whoa! The tree moves! And is all the game, are we really surprised? Not really, but we do want to get these shoe jellies off of him. Besides, no! Go away! Okay, here we go. Almost. Okay, now what we want to do is basically run around and grab all of the uh, chew jellies. That way we can make potions later. And this is our first time, unless you've gone around other islands, seeing some of these uh, chew jellies. Oh, the green chew jellies. So basically, uh, okay. Well, I was expecting them to give me something, but never mind. If you take too long to kill all the chew jellies, uh, they'll just go back on his face and he'll just roll and uh, get them off again and kill them. Uh, I, 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 what? I, I don't speak your language! I don't have medley with me either! Uh, crap, I'm screwed. Well, he doesn't sound like he's angry. I, um, uh, okay, uh, I, I'll just... Leave the way I came. Everything's fine. I don't understand. Oh, now he's talking my language. Okay. <laughs> uh, ancient tongue to pass the lips. So I wonder if that means that the Link from Ocarina of Time used this ancient tongue. Because uh, it just makes me wonder that a bit. Okay. Foul creatures. So Ganon did touch this place? Oh, yeah, he did. What do you do? Go around an adventure and talk to all the people on the islands before he came and got me or something? Cause it seems like everybody knows I'm around here. Oh. So yeah, we do need the Pearl of the Goddess. Not exactly sure why yet, but we do need it. Maybe they did say something, I just I'm gonna talk and skim over it or whatever. Yeah, we do need the Pearl. Yeah, he he has returned. Why we could I just decapitate him, I don't know, but yeah, he's back. Maybe it's because he has too much power or something. Eh. The, this Traveler's... Oh. Karaks. Karaks? What are Kur... Oh. Little wood creatures with leaf faces? Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Hi, Karaks. Oh, they can fly, too. Not fair. I want to fly. I want two claw shots or something. I want to be Spider-Man or... Uh, something. 
Eh. We're not gonna get two claw shots in this game to get a result. I'll spoil that for you now. But we will get something else. Not two of them, but we'll get something else. Hint, he uses it in Brawl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a ceremony once a year? Oh, sweet, I'm gonna make a ceremony. Oh, we're gonna have cake and everything. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, an elf fate will befall you if this ceremony is not complete? Why? Are you stuck under a curse or something? So, you're forced to do the ceremony? That's horrible! I don't know what they're talking about. They're never really going full detail, but... Oh, crap, a car's missing? Huh. Yeah, you late kids, you. The Forbidden Woods? That already sounds bad. Yeah, apparently my car fell into these woods. Yeah. <laughs> As he drew close to it. Foolish little my car. Eh. Uh, well, can one of you guys give me a ride to get to the Forbidden Woods then? Because I obviously can't fly over there. Home to evil beasts. Well, I have a sword. I can handle it. And if they're Metroid creatures, I'll just call Samus over here. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't call Samus. For more than just that reason, but I'll keep that to myself, viewers. I did not say that out loud. Yeah, I could rescue my car for you. I'm gonna help. Thanks, a caring soul. Of course I can help you. At least, I hope he's a caring soul. He can be downright evil for all we know. But no, no, actually, Link's not evil. It's not gonna pull, uh, it's not gonna pull a Castlevania on us. Lord of Shadows or nothing. No, of course not. Which I do want to play that game. I hear so many good things about it. Of course, I hear some minor bad things about it too, but uh, that's about every game. Everyone, everyone's a critic of everything these days, and sometimes they just forget to enjoy the game instead of criticizing it so much. Like movies. It's hard for me to enjoy a movie anymore. But as far as games go, I can always have fun. So apparently since I can't fly, I need to go get that leaf on the Deku Tree. And you know what, I'll make this episode run a little bit longer than usual. Not gonna bother talking to the Karaks, which are basically just different versions of Kokiri. But anyways, you just go inside this plant here and it's doing exactly what you're seeing it. It's doing. It shoots us up! Which, I freaking love these plants. Oh man. Yeah. The Karaks will basically tell you how to get up there by using the plants and everything. Yeah, I'll be able to make that. Basically, you just line yourself up exactly and press forward on the, the joystick and you'll be able to get there rather easily. Okay, we're almost there. I basically line myself up with the stem of the plant. Jeez, that's a long stem and this plant's very balanced. I'm quite surprised. Anyways, now that we're up here, we can get another, well, one of my favorite items in the game, a Deku Leaf. I'll show you why it's my favorite items. What, they're giving us a leaf? I mean, what, are we going to blow our enemies to death? Oh, we get magic power, too. Just like an Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Yeah, Twilight Princess doesn't have magic powers, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I mean, if, if there's magic in Zelda game, awesome. If there isn't, I'm fine without it. So basically we're just gonna jump, use the leaf to basically let ourselves soar, but we can only go as far as our magic meter allows us to. We can't fly forever and we'll eventually touch the ground like we're doing right now. So, now we're gonna fill our magic meter with these, well, magic jars I should say. And that's pretty much it. Already mastered it. Uh, it's not like it's a karate style. It takes years and years to master, but oh uh, yeah, I can't fly very far. But eh, it'll get me to where I need to go. Besides, I have the power of the wind to guide me. But will we able to rescue my car? Why not next time? Well, let's play The Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker. It just sounds better ending with The Legend of Zelda in front of it. Besides, just never mind. But uh, can we save him from the Forbidden Woods? Well, don't find out the next episode, more like the next three or four, but yeah. Find out in the future episodes. Let's play the One Waker. Have a good day, viewers. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to him first. Congratulations on what? For ending the episode? No, not, not that. Oh, I did get a Deku Leaf. Wait, it doesn't give you guys Deku Leaves or anything? Somewhere within there, huh? You have to float across the entrance. 
but we can't just flow straight on. So if you want to continue before I get there, viewers, I'll just let you know you can't fly straight to it. Yeah, you, you can't do that. You can't just fly from here to there and expect to make it with our magic meter and go out again of speed. So you'll just want to go to the left and then go straight on into it. Well, that's all for today. Have a good day, guys and girls.